Hi guys, thanks again for coming back to this video log. Um, just a quick uh, recap of what's happened uh, a couple of days ago. Um, after all my time as an ECA and also as a PTS years and years ago, um, I've actually got to work on someone's CPR. Um, it wasn't a working, working job as such because sadly the uh, the gentleman in, in question had already died. Um, we didn't know that until after we progressed with CPR. So basically what happened was that um, we got called to a, uh, a lady who said their husband had fallen, um, had um, basically stopped breathing in bed. Um, she had managed to pull him off the bed, but no, that was it, um, onto the floor. We got there upstairs, um, he was face down, we turned him over. Um, he's, he, he just, he did look dead, but we continued, to, we started doing CPR until we could find out if there's a DNR or not. Um, then, um, I jumped on the chest, um, for the first time on a life, uh, on a person. Um, and it felt like it was, um, pushing against whale bones, you know, um, in a corsetry you cover these like little very thin plastic lines or like whale boning under, you know, that sort of thing. Um, it just felt like it was moving underneath my fingers, under, underneath my palm, my hand rather. Um, it didn't um, crack as I was expecting it to crack, as, as people told me that what happens. Um, but did, it did leave an imprint. Um, so we slapped the, the defib on um, and it just came back as no shock advice because he was passed completely. Um, we then just checked the rest of the body and um, we saw blood pooling. Um, on his lower limbs and on his bottom and his back. So basically what happens is that when someone's gone um, deceased for some time after maybe an hour or two, blood pooling starts to happen and basically all the blood runs towards the gravity um, and sits on, you know, on the on the body that way. So you get like a, like a reddish tinge to the, blood, to the skin, um, darkening um, as time goes on. Um, and we saw that and we thought, you know, there's, there was no point of continuing because he was gone completely. Um, his eyes were fixed and dilated. His, his eyelids wouldn't even close. One was open, one was closed. Um, mouth was continually open. So the signs were there, but we, just because of protocol, we had to start CPR anyway. Um, and I think the most difficult part of that was actually talking to the family because all the family came in it was a full house and um in a nice way they were thinking of him you know having a chuckle upstairs and saying all these people are trying to help me out ha 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 sort of thing so they were dealing it with their way um and we just make sure that um the patient because he's still a patient you know still a human being uh was treated with dignity and respect so even when hems came over the helicopter people came over with by car um, even they kept on talking to him saying, all right, so I'm just going to move this up here and I'm just going to check your heart to make sure if it actually has stopped with the, the ultrasound. So it was very, um, very respectfully done. Um, the police came, acted in as coroner, and then uh, we left the, the family with the police waiting for the, the funeral people to come along and um, to retrieve the, the body in the end. Um, so... As a as a student, it was um, very interesting. Um, the feeling of actual, real flesh underneath my hands instead of having a rosaceani, completely different. It's much softer. You go a lot deeper, a lot quickly. It's um, more malleable than the the hard plastic of a rosaceani, um, which kind of shocked me because I wasn't sure what to expect to be honest. Um, but um, yeah, so after all this time, you know, I've almost walked on, worked on a, a live person so maybe the next couple of weeks I'll get to do it properly and um, have that as a, a reflection of knowing that I can do it um, I can go deep enough with CPR and um, hopefully this time we'll be on a person who uh, needs it to come back and we get Rosk and let's see what happens all right thanks again for um, uh, tuning in uh, please make sure that everyone who needs to know about this just channel is informed because I'm getting so much great feedback from all the people who are looking to be ECAs and those of you who have actually moved on now to be paramedics is amazing accomplishment that you guys have done. I'm so very proud of you and I'm very, very envious as well, but in a very good way. All right, take care and I'll catch you later. Stay safe, drive carefully. See you soon. Bye bye for now.